Perth residential sales market continued its growth trajectory for a 10th consecutive month in May with the CoreLogic Perth Home Value Index increasing 1.1% during the month. Now, REWA President Damien Collins said that brought Perth price growth to 7% for the first five months of the 2021 calendar year and 10% since July 2020. So let's get into all the details with this month's Perth market update. G'day guys, my name is Tim Guest and welcome to our market update video series where you can stay up to date with the markets that matter and find out what's happening in your local area. So breaking down the data, Perth's median house sale price for May was $510,000 with Rewa.com data revealing 81 suburbs recording house sale price growth during the month. Now Mr. Collins said the top performers were Adidale up 4.9% to $1.25 million, Scarborough up 3.8% to $755,000, Melville up 3.6% to $860,000, Southlake up 3.6% to $400,000, and Hamilton Hill up 3.5% to $490,000. Uh, Mr. Collins said Netherlands, Atwell, Craigie, Florent, and Victon also performed well. Now, competition amongst Perth buyers remains high, with the median time to sell sitting at 14 days for May. And Mr. Collins said the median selling times are still sitting close to 15 year lows, with buyers needing to act very quickly to secure a property. Now, there were 9,020 properties for sale in Perth at the end of May on Rewa.com. Now, Mr. Collins said this is a 0.8% more than there were at the end of April and almost 15% more than three months ago. Now, the figure for May is also the first time we've seen listings sitting above 9,000 since November 2020. So given the buoyancy of the Perth sales market, more and more people are recognising there is a good opportunity to sell their home for a competitive price, which of course is leading to an increased number of properties on the market. Now, listings for rent increased 3.8% in May, while the Perth median rent price was stable during the month. Now, Mr. Collins said, while the rental market has some way to go before it balances out, the signs are encouraging that we are on the right track. Now, since the moratorium ended in March, we've seen investor activity start to build again, as evidenced by the latest month's ABS investor finance figures, which is producing more rental stock and helping to slow down rental price growth. Now, Mr. Collins also said, not only are listings up 3.8% for the month, but over the last three months, we have seen rental listings increase 7.4%, which is quite a substantial period, uh, sorry, quite a substantial number after a long period of declines. Now, the 10 suburbs to record the biggest increase in rental listings during the month were Kudal, Balcatta, Maddington, Mount Pleasant, uh, Como, Cloverdale, Yanchep, Mindari, Forestfield, and Claremont. Now, Perth's median rent price was unchanged in May, holding at $420 a week. Mr. Collins said this is only the second time this year that we've seen the median rent price remained unchanged. The increase in the listing volumes coupled with stable rents suggests that the challenging market conditions facing tenants are beginning to ease. Now, while the overall median rent price was unchanged during the month, 29 suburbs did recourse price increases. Mr. Collins said the strongest performers for median rent price growth during May were Alchemos up $15 to $375 a week, uh, Hallshead up $15 a week to $390 a week, Gosnells up $10 to $320 a week, Rockingham up $10 also to $350 a week, and Nolamara up $10 to $360 a week. Now, there were also 2,891 properties leased during May, which is 4% more than April. Mr. Collins said the suburbs to record the biggest increase in leasing activity during the month were Secret Harbour up 78%, Piara Waters up 60%, Hall's Head up 57%, Clarkson up 55%, and Willard up 53%. Now, Rewa.com data shows the median time to lease a property in May was 18 days. Now, Mr. Collins said the median time to lease a property has been relatively stable since September 2020, hovering between around 17 and 19 days. On an annual basis, however, property investors are finding tenants for their rentals nine days quicker than they were this time last year. Well, guys, that is all the data from me today. Please remember to like, comment, and share this video. And if it's your first time tuning in, don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you are seeing this. Have a great week, guys. And remember, there is only one thing in life that makes a difference. That's action. Thanks a lot and bye for now.